With thousands of Pokemon cards in existence and graded cards becoming more and more desirable, it is important to consider two fundamental questions. What cards should I be buying and what determines the value of these cards? In this video I will discuss the difference in pricing between set, grade and unlimited versus first edition and much more, including some recent price data from the PWCC auction brought to us by Pokemon Radar. So, first, first thing we can do is we can go to pokemonprice.com and then go to analytics over here and then total set price over time i showed uh, i saw this on the uh, graded gem uh, one of graded gems videos trading card talks very recently they basically just spent a whole 40 minutes going through these graphs and um but they were mainly interested in the psa 10 price and that's where i think um maybe maybe the general collector that's what the, what they're chasing but as the cards become more and more rarer over time, you need to understand that the PSA 9s, 8s, 7s are going to be desirable. And there's a lot of cards at PSA right now which are going to have 7, 8 grades as opposed to 9s and 10s. So it's just a question of in a few months if there's actually going to be people to scoop those cards up or whether the price is just going to you know, go mad really low. Um, but twice Bay Jake, for example, a few months ago, he spent $1,500, I think, on the set of the big three. So Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, $1,500 in PSA 7. I'm not sure I would have done that right this second. They're unlimited, so they're not first edition. So um, the first set that pops up when you do this is base set first edition. So back here, the, the price gap between, um, and you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in, the price gap between PSA 10 base at first edition was 87,000 here against 13, so a factor of 5 or 6. And in today's pricing, it's 600,000 now <laughs> for a 10 set and 92 for a 9 set. So the, the factor has still kind of stayed there. There is this factor between 9s and 10s usually where... They have this kind of relationship, but you can see the actual price gap. As as the total value increases over time, that price gap becomes huge. And that's what you've got to really, really consider. That it's just the nines just haven't had that same increase in price. They've actually been, some in some sets they've actually gone back to the kind of original values, what they were before all this hype. Um for example, let's have a look at Team Rocket, one of my favourite sets right now. Unlimited, say. I think that I think they were looking at the first edition mainly in the graded gem, but let's have a look at the unlimited value. So it's kind of stabilising off. Previously, October 2019, 1800 for a full PSA 10. It was 600, so factor of 3. Now it's uh, about 4000 for a PSA 9 set, and... 11,000 so again the price relationship is is there but you have to also kind of take that out of the consideration and think well, you've got eight grand extra <laughs> if you don't buy this one and you buy this PSA 9 set which you can spend on another set you could probably get Team Rocket, Jungle all for the same price you know in PSA maybe Team Rocket, Jungle and Fossil I'm not sure all for the same price of just the one of the one of them in PSA 10. That's kind of mad, and that's something which I'll now talk about in the um, PWCC auctions, which I was I was watching. So some important price data, I think, is for example we have the PSA 9 base set to Charizard. So let me just find my picture for that. Is it PSA 9? PSA 10. I'm not sure why I wrote PSA 9 on my uh, notes, but yeah. So here, in Pokemon Radar's live stream, it went for 1,025. It's got a really nice swirl as well up here. And um, yeah, 1,025 might seem high, might seem not so high, but let me put it in perspective. You've got the PSA 4... <laughs> First edition Shadowless, which went for 5300. Let me see if I can find that. Here we go. 
This was PSA 4, no rarity, 4300. Uh, here we go. I didn't I didn't write the price on my thing, that's why I was so confused. Here we go. PSA 4. Um first edition 5300 kind of mad so you could have PSA 4 first edition uh, first edition shadowless I don't know if all I don't think all first editions are shadowless but PSA 4 first edition shadowless right 5300 or you could have your PSA 10 uh, where is my new play promo PSA 10 Mew Play promo, very rare. Also 007, I like that. <laughs> 3250. Plus, somehow, I don't even know how this is going for so cheap. PSA 10, first edition, Dark Charizard, 1600. 1630. PSA 10. So you could have this and that. Or you could have a PSA 4. I th I th you just really got to determine the value of these cards. What, what are they worth? Um, when you compare like one to another, and you know all these things that you could buy for the price of one, it then it then really builds some perspective. For example, there's this um, Neo Discovery Umbreon. I don't know why I've called it Umbreon, but 8500 in a PSA 10. It's got a really cool swirl here, though I must say. But in a nine. 1300 that is a factor of six maybe more um so you could buy six of these or you could buy one near discovery psa 10 i know what i'd be doing um another thing which really doesn't make sense right now in the market is psa 10 evolutions charizard look at the top top border compared to the bottom border how the hell has this got a psa 10 guys so PSA 10 should look almost full of centering on camera. The, the left one looks smaller compared to the right, I think. The bottom doesn't look right. You know, it's just... But pre-release version went for $300 more than the regular set version. How does that make sense? I guess the pre-release ones may have had better quality control. But it is a bit crazy, to be honest. Um, some more examples that I have. We've got... PSA 10 Alakazam, regular base and limited set card, hollow though, 710. And yeah, um, we've got first edition Ivysaur, a uncommon, I think, or like, you know, like a second evolution of Bulbasaur, 1.1k versus 700 for a hollow. And it's not like, you know, this isn't a promo card. Um, and yeah, more perspective, you know, you could have a Japanese CD promo, PSA 10. It is an early certificate number, because 420 in it, if you like that. <laughs> Under 1,000, and yet yeah, this was over 1,000. Also, uh, Pokemon Radar was laughing at the fact here. If the sound captures. Oh, I got out bid. Unbelievable. So he's going through all these PSA Should 10 put 855. auctions. Five eighty. Five eighty for a PSA ten. That's too slow. Six sixty. Nine hundred. Guys, stop. Five hundred on the uh, Steelixes. That's not enough. And then I think the Tyranitar went for fast. one point seven. Yeah. So here's what he says after. <laughs> I wanted all of those. Those are so cheap for a PSA ten. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, so he, he knows they're so cheap for a PSA 10, even if they're not first edition. Like, people are just so... Please don't get caught up in this whole first edition and PSA 10 chase. Like, know which PSA 10s are, are valuable, and which PSA 10s you're better off just getting 9s, because the 10s might be exactly the same as the 9, but, you know, the person who graded them on that day was a bit drunk and decided to stick a 10 label on it really have to inspect the condition of these tens 
Um, if it's a BGS 10, it's a different story, but yeah. And then you've got the difference between BGS grading on the lower grades and PSO grading, and BGS is grading. It's a bit weird. There's an SM Pratt video where he shows the difference between PSA and BGS at a low grade, and it's just crazy. So yeah, um, I'm not sure how long this video is because it took me a few takes to kind of get a good good intro with the hook and stuff. And I um, appreciate if you got this far in the video. Hopefully the information is decent. Also we got um, first edition Neo Espion for 5200, where again you can make the same point. You could have first edition Neo Espion, or you could have a new play promo, and the PSA 10 Dark Charizard wherever you are I really should have named these files a bit more consistent but you could have this and this or you could get rid of them both and just have this I know what I'd do I'd, I'd have the first edition PSA 10 Charizard and a Mew promo which is hard to hard to find and it's a PSA 10 so it's nice um, yeah so hopefully this video makes some sense do look through these set prices we'll go for another set real quick like EX Unseen Forces is one of my real favourites. So let's have a look here. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a long time to load, guys. It's just the servers this website are on, or the data is a bit weird, but yeah. So this doesn't include a lot of the unknowns for some reason. But yeah, if we go back here 2500 versus 894, so three times. And then here, 16k, this is 9k, so actually the 9s are catching up with this set. Um, but that's that's an anomaly to this, really. But yeah, honestly, you've seen it. When the hype started, people were buying PSA 6s, PSA 7s, people submitting any grade of Charizard. There's going to be so much on the market. Don't rush to buy low grade PSA cards because there's going to be so many more that are they're going to come back with a lower grade than people were expecting because a lot of people didn't know how to grade their cards particularly well when I first got into it and I'm really critical I thought grades were going to you know cards were going to get higher grade than now I look at them and I'm like mm, they're a bit a bit more whitening than I thought they had when I bought them so it's all an experience um, hopefully this video has made some sense I don't know please leave a like and subscribe and all that it helps me actually tell if this video is doing well if it's good information please leave comments you know i'll read and respond to all the comments so yes hopefully this made some sense i really wanted to get some videos out but it's just like i'm waiting on deliveries i'm waiting on deliveries so <laughs> there's not much i can do besides talk about the market right now and just just watch absorb information you know how it is so yeah this has been james mlb Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm out. Peace.